Good morning, everybody. So it is Monday, December 10th, I think. That sounds right. And we are walking early. It is just around 7 a.m. So we can get into Disney's Animal Kingdom. It is an extra magic hour here, uh, which will get us in at 8 o'clock. And uh, that's all so we can get into Pandora. So we're going to wait an hour. So we don't have to wait an hour and a half online and Pandora. Uh, and then we also have Fast Pass later. And, and this is all for one ride for Flight of Passage, which is reportedly uh, the greatest ride ever. We have never ridden it. Pandora was not built the last time we were here. And even though the park's been open for a year, the lines, as you can see, are stupid long. I mean, this is all just to get into that one ride. So, let's get in line. Using avatars to fly this way was all figured out by my boss, Dr. Jackie Ogden. She leads our science team, which is part of the Pandora Conservation Initiative, and we're here in the Valley of Moara studying banshees and their environment. <laughs> So is it worth getting up that early? Oh yeah, for sure. And how long did we actually wait? So uh, I we got here at the park at 7 and then we were on the line at 7.30. And off the ride by 8. So I was 15 minutes before we were just getting into the pre-show area. So that was pretty good. Go buy me Banshee. Smoke this out. Not with you guys. Yeah, <laughs> what, what it looked like. The pelicans are gonna jump into the waters as a team together. Those cows, their blood vessels go halfway up through the horn and back down again. That's cool. They do. They do uh, put the giraffes. They have the more jaggedy edged, more irregular design to the spots. Looks like some wacky puzzle pieces all over that coat on their faces. <laughs> the maturity. Typically the bulls, and they go off to stay solitary. Not on their own. Mile per hour. And a unique identification marking. <laughs> Cheeseburger pod, which is now a kid's meal. So, I am now a kid. The bowl, and a Marissa. 
like that at all. Care for a grape, Marissa? No. Grape? No, I don't want it. Delicious chiquita grape? No? Okay. Uh, so you to my gentleman friend on the end there. I don't know if you had plans later, but you do now. Uh, give them all a huge round of applause here today. There's one coming up right now. I'm starting with some mushroom soup. Along with uh, this is like a sausage gumbo kind of uh, chutney Tomato whole thing. Oh no, you got the gumbo. I got the seafood gumbo. Got the seafood gumbo and the mushroom soup, mm -hmm. which you have been dreaming about for years. Sweet. Still the way you remember it, huh? Oh, good. Good. Round two for me, we got a steak there, we got turkey, barbecue rib, we got uh, fufu, which is uh, sweet potatoes and mashed potatoes kind of mixed together, we got babodi, which is kind of an egg uh, cornmeal dish, some fried plantains, and uh, I can't remember what this kind of chutney thing is, and you got pretty much the same thing, but with some chicken. The meal was all just a pretense for dessert, wasn't it? I'm just here for the zebra domes, man. Zebra domes and uh, a whole bunch of other stuff going on. Red velvet cake. That's right. Coffee tart. That's right. Oreo cheesecake. That's right. Chocolate chip cookies. Yeah. And a malva pudding cake. Malva pudding cake. I don't know what that means. I'm gonna find out. Don't judge me. <laughs> <laughs> 